Hi everyone, it's Lulu. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm glad you're joining me. I hope you stick around. I don't do too many videos, but the videos I do are kind of fun. And today I'm talking about a new line of cosmetics, new to me, new to our area. I haven't seen anything really on YouTube called Koki. I think I'm saying that right, Koki. Found them at Walmart. Um, not maybe a little on the more expensive, you know, not a wet and wild brand, not a New York color kind of brand, certainly not physician's formula, but maybe more like if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know, I just don't look at prices, but it's Walmart. I'm going to say it's between maybe Revlon prices, maybe L'Oreal, maybe Milani's Milani, a little more expensive than the others. But I should have, shame on me. So I bought quite a few things. They did not have the foundation in, which of course is my thing. Foundation is my thing. You can never have too many foundations. I pick my foundation every day, like most women pick out their earrings or their shoes, and I pick those out as well. So I'll tell you what I have. Every, not everything. Stop the presses. I am wearing some of it today, and so I can't really give you a strong review, but I can certainly give you some very first impressions. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm not a professional reviewer. As a matter of fact, I loved makeup so much. It's hard for me to give a negative review, but I will do my best. All right, I'm going to start with the liquid matte lipsticks. Now, first of all, I am not very much of a matte kind of person. I like a little shine on my lips because my lips are not large, and I feel like shine gives them more life. Um, the gloss, the, the finish, a shinier finish makes them look a little larger. But I know that's the thing. So I thought, okay, come on, I keep trying to get into it. So I bought three of the liquid lipsticks. And with my handy dandy, and I'm wearing this red one. And it's a very blue red, very blue red. And I'm actually going to attempt to swatch. It's a, a dry formula that stays a little tacky for a long time, but is kiss-proof. Is that what everybody does? Yeah, it's kind of kiss-proof. It is kiss -proof. So this is, moving along, Lulu, Monarch. So that is Monarch. And I don't think the camera is doing it justice. I, I don't have any fancy camera equipment. But that's Monarch. I think my lips give a much truer color. It's blue-red. So that's lovely. I think most everyone who loves matte lips, I do not. I love red lipstick, but not matte. More neutral lips may like the color Desire. It's a mauve on the pink side. Did I wear that? No, I did not wear this one yesterday. So this is Desire. I think it's a little more vivid in person. And these do very much stain your lips. So if they wear off, uh, you will still have color on your lips and not look like a skeleton. This is Summer Love. This is a very nice, it's, it comes across dusty. It's much more vivid. It's a pink. It's a beautiful summer, well, anytime if you like pink. It's again, more vivid than yeah, it's definitely more vivid. I wonder how I could adjust that. That's too bad. They are all more vivid in real life. I think that when you see them in the tubes at Walmart, they are very much spot on. You know how some things get darker or lighter? They, they applied. I wore the brighter pink yesterday. I have the red on today. They applied beautifully. They stay tacky for a while. This is now pretty much all dried down. I probably had it on for about an hour maybe, and I would say it took about half an hour, 20 minutes to really completely feel dried down, and it is kiss-proof. This lasted on me, the pink one yesterday lasted on me, not as long as I anticipated, but I ate a Chicago-style hot dog and a couple of bites of Italian beef sandwich, and um, I don't know. I mean, it's not an, I don't think it's an all day, but it stained my lips to the point where even after washing last night and showering this morning, my lips still had more color than normal to them. So it was kind of nice. I liked that actually. 
and uh, applies very nicely. Okay, so that's that. Okay, I'm also wearing this bronzer contour highlighting palette, and I tried, there you go, you can see some of the dust still in it. It's definitely kick up, and I know a lot of people don't care about kick up as long as the product produces. I detest kick up. And I mean, it has to really wow me for me to tolerate that. And I think about the only thing I've tolerated well is the Lorac Pro palettes. And even then, I hardly use them, but I love them. Um, not a lot of pig. I would not recommend this. Not a lot of pigment in this one. I had to really bronze my face up because I used a foundation that was a little too light. I did not use any of the highlighting colors in here, but it really kicks up a lot. And so then what happens is this kick up goes up onto the whoops lighter colors. So I don't think that I could recommend this one. I'm not going to take it back because I might play with it a little bit more. I like it better. I like these color. You know what I really need is I need the Lorac. The Lorac one is the one that I really like. And I should use my Smashbox Trio more. Anyway, that's that. Okay, so that's that. Now, the Strobing Palette, I think if you are looking for a subtle, barely there to the office, if you teach school, if you are just going to lunch with the ladies and you don't want to look like you're trying too hard. If you are just running to class, but you still want to look a little, you know, a little brighter than the average bear, this strobing palette is lovely. It's not at all shimmery. It's not glittery. glittery it's not sparkly. It is so subtle. So for some of you, this may be too subtle, but I am in love with this strobing palette. All kinds of colors. This one is kind of a toe, it's not yellow at all. This one is golden. This one is pinky. And this one is, what can I say? It's kind of like a clay color. It's coming across a little yellow or green, but it's not. It's more of in the brown family, but very, very light. I mean, I could certainly use it. And I am wearing this one today. I think I'm wearing the lightest one. And it just gives me a little lift to the eye area. I love this. Uh, okay, eyeshadow palettes. First of all, I, not first of all, I'm probably on fourth of all. The packaging, when you see this at Walmart, it stops you. The nail polishes, I cannot believe I didn't buy any for nail polishes. But if you're a regular follower, I make um, beauty resolutions every year and I keep them. And one of them is to toss 30 nail polishes a month, which I've been doing. And so every time I buy one now, it really makes me stop and think because it is painful. It is painful to bring my nail polish collection down, but the nail polish bottles are gorgeous. You know, I bet Sephora's looking at these and going, why didn't we think of this? Because the packaging is so, you know, it's black and white or cream and white stripes. And it is adorable in, when you're standing in front of that uh when you're standing in front of that uh, collection at Walmart. It's just, it's captivating. Kind of like the tops to these, you know, and the nail polishes, it's adorable. So anyway, back to the, so here's one, and this one is called Classic Romance. Both of the palettes I bought are neutrals. I think they had five or six palettes. Most of them were normal-ish kind of colors. A mix of matte and shimmer. I'm wearing, not this one today. So very nice, not highly pigmented. This looks like the typical eye look I wear probably in every video. I don't like highly pigmented blushes and I don't like highly pigmented eyeshadows because with my age skin, I would rather build up the color. If I have to build it down, it gets ugly with all my movement of crepey skin and I don't think I recommend these, even for me who would rather not have a very pigmented shadow. I think that this is, um, they're just not, they're not that great. I mean, it's nice that you get nine colors. I, I'm wearing these today. What am I wearing? I have no idea. I think I'm wearing this one in my brow bone, this on my lid, and it, it got a little muddy with the crease color. I mean, they kind of blended together. And I'm wearing this as my crease color. I'm not, this is bare it all. So I'm going to put them up side by side. This is classic romance and this is bare it all. Bare it all, classic romance. One leans a little warmer, one leans a little cooler. 
And the darker colors obviously have more pigment. They did not go on patching, and they blended very nicely. But if you like a lot of pigment, these are not going to be for you. How the other palettes are with maybe the more vivid colors, I don't know. But this, you know, so I would say so far the powder products, eh, can't recommend either of these mascaras either. So I bought the volume and length. Very, you know, for a normal day, but it seems nobody's looking for normal day kind of mascara. So everybody wants the boom or length. This gave good volume, good length, nothing to write home about. Uh, first day using it, sometimes mascaras clump just because they're, even if they're not wet formulas, they're still wetter than normal. And this one didn't have clumps of mascara. It just kind of had a few of the lashes stick, but I was able to brush them out quickly without making the situation worse. So this is the volume and length mascara. They both have very, both the mascaras I bought have very natural looking brushes. Oops, sorry. I, I know, I'm so aggravating with that. And I will try to do that better. So it's just a very natural looking brush. Um, packaging is cute, but it was, you know, nothing to write home about. I think they're much better, whether it be L'Oreal Volume or the CoverGirl Super Saver. Um, I think there's, I'm trying to think, why can't I think? I think there's a number of L'Oreal Telescopic. I think that are better. This is the waterproof one. See this packaging. Most of the packaging looks like this, these stripes. They're so cute. And I think that's a rhinoceros. So maybe Koki means, I didn't even look it up. I don't know what it means. But anyway, so this is the waterproof. And again, very natural looking brush. And this one was, I would say it intensified what I had a little more length a little more volume. Uh, I'm wearing them, I'm wearing one on each eye, but I have false lashes on, because you know, I just learned how to do that. So now I always put false lashes on, even though you can hardly even tell I have false lashes on, but I can tell. And so I put one on one eye, one on the other, and you know, again, I just, nothing to write home about. I wish I had remembered the prices. So, and then I bought four brushes, because I've been on a brush thing lately. The packaging, I don't know if you, is gorgeous. This is their foundation brush, and I like it. I like this a lot. I used it today for the first time. I liked it when I felt it. The thing with these really large foundation brushes, and this reminds me very much of the Tarte airbrushed one that they've had out for years, is that the larger ones use up a lot of foundation. For people like me who own a lot of foundation and never go through anything, I don't care. But it, you know, they just, not just this brand, any brand, if you are looking at this, but if you're using a full coverage foundation and you want to really air it, airbrush it out, this is beautiful. I love this brush. It's now, I, <clears throat> I don't know how many foundation brushes I own. I own quite a few, just like everything. You know, I just like get tired of saying that. I own a lot of everything. This is, this is good. This is really, I liked it. I used it today. Loved it. Loved it. All right. Then I left this in the package. This is kind of a setting, highlighting uh, brush. Love this one as well. And again, the packaging, they spent a fortune on the packaging. So would you rather they put it in the, you know, as a consumer, you're like, oh, I'll put it in the product. But yet for some of us like me, it's the packaging that catches our eye and therefore we buy it. I don't think I, anyway. This is kind of, it's cute. It's got a squared handle, so it's comfortable to hold. I love this. This is a little more dense than the Real Techniques setting brush. So this is definitely a little more dense. And I did, uh, I, did I, I did, did, no, I didn't use this one today for applying my highlighter, but I certainly would. I think this is great. And you'll see, I already have a sculpting brush, but I think if you want a very, you know, you're just getting into contouring, you're not really sure. This is nice and soft and wouldn't put too much on. Whoops. And uh, for highlighting, beautiful. For setting your teeth on, I just all kinds of purposes. You know, this is just one of those utility kind of brushes and on the smaller side. So that was lovely. This is the contouring brush. And I feel like somebody just came out with one like this. Everything was sealed except the liquid lipsticks. I did not look at the regular tubes of lipstick, 
I think I got there literally as the display was just put up because I don't think I I, I thought the uh, there were some things missing, but everything was you know spotless, not touched. I think everything had quantity. So I got really lucky on that. I, what this display is going to look like after a while, especially because it's new, everybody's going to want to be opening things and sampling them. Again, the square, squared bottom. Foundation is not a squared bottom. The foundation is a regular, well, the brush is regular. And this, as you can see, is a pinched, pinched ferrule, slightly pinched. So there's the wide side, there's the pinched side. And this is stiffer. And we'll definitely sculpt this out. There's just, yeah, this is very much sculpting. So if you, and I think, um, I like cream blushes, Maybelline bouncies, any of them. And I think this is great for stippling and stippling and spreading and spreading and spreading and spreading the cream blushes. I think this is going to be fabulous. Right now, I use an e.l.f. stippling brush, which I love. But this is, I'm thinking, I'm excited about that. So I don't contour very often. This one I'm taking back. This is their uh, blender or concealing brush, and it's probably, I'm not a big um, one for using synthetic on my eyes, and it has to do with the amount of product it picks up. To me, it doesn't pick up, the, I have less control on how much I can pick up, and I don't typically like the way synthetic diffuses or blends out. I just like the, the control, a natural animal thing. So this is um, rounded, and I don't, you know, you know, all the way around. There's no pinch to it. But I, is it okay? It's okay. But I just bought, I'm going to sneak these in here. I just bought MAC brushes. Uh, everybody has always talked about the 217. And of all my gazillion brushes, I've yet to buy it. I finally bought it. I'm not in love. It's a little too stiff for blending for me with my skin above my eyes. It's better for laying down color. But the 224, I am loving. It is so soft and so gentle on my eyes. And it does not move the skin with the brush. So I'm loving this. So I think I is this arrived maybe the same day as I went shopping for this or day apart. And as I compare these two, this one is just more too bouncy. I don't know what the word is. I just like the Mac better. You know, just what you like. So there's my quick review on Koki from a person who's not really a professional reviewer, but I hope this at least helped. Um, I think the matte lipsticks are fine. Be careful until they set because they will smear or move or whatever. The, I mean, they're not at all greasy or slick or anything, but until they set, you know, you don't want to be whatever. Y'all have a great uh, day, week, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. And when you're at Walmart, just if the, I hope that you catch it early enough. The display is gorgeous. And I'm going to keep checking back. I, I wanted to get the concealer, but I'm I'm just done with concealers. I have so many. And I cannot wait for the foundation to be stocked because that's really my thing is the foundation. And you know what I just realized? I didn't get a blush. Did I even see a blush? I don't know. They have liners. They have eyebrow. I mean, they have, it's a, they have a loose powder. They have everything. And I probably will acquire some more. Take care. Thank you. Bye.